Good morning, everyone. I think we're going to get started here. Uh, thank you, everyone, for joining us today. My name is Paul Munzenberger with the sales and marketing team here at DSI, and I'm joined today by Mr. Kevin Jones. Really excited about how much interest there is surrounding MES and specifically Design Systems MITS solution. Kevin has about a 30 minute presentation prepared that will give us a bit of the backstory of where MES originated from, how firms are using it, where it's headed, and, and really why the mid and small size manufacturers are driving its continued growth. One thing is for sure, it's still all about process efficiency. It's about doing the right things at the right time. It's about lean. It's about doing it right the first time. It's about transitioning to a proactive state rather than reactionary. So please feel free to submit any questions you have throughout Kevin's presentation, and we will try to address, address it immediately afterwards. Um, but prior to Kevin getting going, you know, allow me to set the stage prior to handing this off. Um, in short, DSI is a professional engineering company focused on manufacturing engineering and process design. Now in our 37th year, we have grown into a full service, kind of a one-stop shop, if you will, resource for manufacturing and warehouse process design. We do not design buildings, rather, our expertise is to design and optimize the processes for each of our clients' unique operations. So over the course of nearly four decades now, we've expanded into three locations headquartered here in Metro Detroit with supporting offices in Windsor, Canada and Saltillo, Mexico, really able to have boots on the ground quickly anywhere within North America and the industrial market here. And with a staff size of approximately 275 engineers across a wide spectrum of skill sets, we are able to staff each project with just the right team. So as, as mentioned, you know, our focus is on efficiency, design, engineering, and project management services to help our clients professionally execute a program. With Greenfield and Brownfield experience, we get engaged when clients are expanding, consolidating, or relo relocating, when they are launching new products, when they need to improve the overall efficiency of their operations. So to do so, we've organized ourselves with, uh, you know, key engineering departments, mechanical engineering, including really a leading material handling conveyor system design department, electrical engineering from the plant floor systems, but to the upper level systems like the MITS tool we're gonna to talk about today. And then the manufacturing industrial engineering group supporting all the process design and lean efforts uh, throughout your facilities, the optimized flow of all the people and parts within your facility, and a, and a focus on in-plant material flow design, warehouse and supply chain optimizations, supporting our clients with all the picking, slotting, packaging, equipment needs, software needs, and process design to optimize their, their warehouse operations, paint systems, the design and optimi optimization of complete paint systems, including all processes, utilities, booths, ovens for coating your product. And a rather new group um, it is our Industry 4.0. This is a team really assisting our clients through the maze of, of Industry 4.0, from 3D design and digital twins to simulation model development and virtual commissioning to data analytics really helping them find a way to meaningful transformation that is not just change for change sake. And lastly, program management, a team of the most experienced individuals here that manage complex projects from, from concept through commissioning. You know, we will support clients with, you know, concept development, engineering, specifications, uh, contractor and installation management, startup and commissioning support this team really is by your side the entire way to professionally execute a program so lastly just a quick sampling of our client base you know we've provided our engineering and pm services to everyone from canned soup production to tank engines and, and just about everything in between to us it doesn't really matter what you're manufacturing it's that you do it in the most efficient way possible for your organization and, and really the benefit of this variety of industry experience is the exposure we gain job after job as we work with these different companies and just continually add to our knowledge base of different uh, industry tips and tricks that we that we gain along the way. 
So, okay, that, that's enough for Mui. You, I know you guys want to hear from Kevin. So quick introduction to Kevin. He has been a staple of the industrial automation and controls field for over 34 years, having led design, engineering, project management, and commissioning teams across North America. Kevin brings a very hands-on approach to his projects with a very diverse project portfolio. Kevin has supported Fortune 100 firms to small independent shops across a wide spectrum of industries. Kevin, it's all yours, bud. Thanks, Paul. Hello, everyone. I hope you're having a great day. My name is Kevin Jones, and I'll be presenting our MITS MES solution to you today. Just a quick background. I came to work for Design Systems in 1995, and I began integrations for DSI shortly thereafter. As Paul mentioned, uh, we, or DSI, has been in business for 37 years. This is our first webinar. That speaks to how passionate we are about this product. I'll do my best to keep everyone awake. I won't elaborate much on the MES beginnings as most, if not all of you are keenly aware of MES, but uh, some of the highlights are um, manufacturing ex execution systems are designed to bridge the gap between enterprise resource planning or ERPs, product life cycle management, PLMs, and process design systems or APs. The goal of MES is to enforce product design processes from process design to shop floor execution. MES is a bi-directional system which executes planned production orders from ERP based on processes and materials from PLM and AP. MES will obviously improve your efficiency. All businesses know where they have added cost. It's production bottlenecks, scrap parts, low FTC, um, operator efficiency, equipment downtime, et cetera. An MES solution will immediately provide an efficient workspace for you. Competitiveness, let's face it, everything is competitively bid these days. If you want the job, you need to be very tight on your pricing. It's very difficult to do that if you have areas of waste. Regulations. Whether you're making a $2 toy that has stringent paint requirements that need to be adhered to, or building a $60,000 car with 500 regulations, these all need to be adhered to. And MES ensures compliance to all of the regulations required for your product. Just a brief history and a look to the future. Accounting software such as Peachtree was first introduced to business in the 1970s for accounting purposes. Shortly after that came DOS. Then businesses began to realize that automation and smarter production facilities were desperately needed. That was when we started to see ERPs, WMSs, supply chain management, etc. It wasn't until 1992 when MES was first coined. The MES market today is at almost $12 billion and estimated to be $15 billion by 2025. That's a huge leap. The main reason for this leap Small to mid-sized manufacturers are starting to realize that an MES solution is required. They are the ones spawning this growth. They realize that to be competitive, they need to become efficient and lean, and an MES solution provides that solution to them. ERPs or enter Enterprise Resource Planning. ERPs provide a platform for the manufacturing of finished goods. The execution of manufacturing considers all resources such as manpower, raw materials, brought in parts, just-in-time deliveries, just-in-sequence, cost centers, and supply chain management, et cetera. MRPs, or Manufacturing Resource Planning, this is a low orbit system designed to provide filtered information to supply chains, including manufacturing execution systems. More and more, these functions are being absorbed into MES. PLMs or product lifecycle management, these are repositories for all design and engineering documentation. A revision controlled repository for all BOM and BOP data is essential data source for MES. MES is a manufacturing execution system. This is the bridge between the ERP, the MRP, the AP, and the PLM. An MES system translates the customer orders from ERP and MRP, applies the manufacturing processes from AP and PLM, and guides both automation and manpower 
to manufacture the required product. Just a brief look at DSI and MES. Uh, DSI began with MES integrations for Chrysler with their systems in the 90s. We then started working with GM on their systems, as well as in Illusion and other systems. Through our experience, we saw gaps in the MES world, especially for small to mid-sized companies. We decided to partner with a European MES software company. They are single source and very large automotive companies and tier one suppliers across the globe. They have systems that have been running since 2001. Their extensive MES presence, coupled with our manufacturing and MES integration experience, led us to our MES, Manufacturing IT Solutions, or simply MITS. We can't talk about Industry 4.0 without knowing how we got here. Everyone has heard of Industry 4.0. It's a catchphrase. Industry 4.0 is the fourth industrial revolution. Its predecessors were the first industrial revolution, which basically went from manual processes to machines using water and steam power to mechanize production. The second revolution used electric power to create mass production. The third revolution saw automation electronic used with IT to automate production. Then came the fourth industrial revolution. The fourth industrial revolution is building on what the third started with the digital revolution that has been occurring since the middle of the last century. It will be driven largely by the convergence of digital, biological, and, and physical innovations. So most off-the-shelf MES solutions are very costly and typically it's a one-size-fits-all. You have to buy the whole package whether you use it all or not. Not with our mitts. What if a manufacturer only wants visual monitoring or work instructions? We scale our software to fit your needs. We won't sell you the entire package if you don't need it. Maybe you just need help finding some of your problems. That certainly may not require a full deployment, rather a tool to help with just that issue. We also perform our own integration services. We do not hire third parties to perform these required services as most MES solutions do. We do it ourselves. This gives you one place to go to and that saves time and money. Having an MES system eliminates manual data mining, paper trails, labor intensive reporting, and does all of this for you. Let your ERP do what it does best and let an MES system do what it does best. Our MITs provide you with all the reporting features you need so you can make intelligent and informed decisions regarding your plant floor. Let's talk about some of the benefits from our MITs system. Increase machine uptime. By seeing the equipment live and in real time, it enables you to respond faster to any machine stoppages. Instant alarm messages and out of cycle messages promotes a faster MTTR, which means less downtime. Better FTC. We install quality gates along your processes to ensure that quality compliance is being met. We provide the information at the right place and at the right time to ensure you are meeting your quality initiatives. This naturally gives you better FTC. Better OEE, by using electronic work instructions, e-checklist, and lean manufacturing tools, we increase operator efficiency. Going paperless, even if you have an MES system in place, chances are there are still travelers, why? With our MITS traceability, you eliminate the need for paper, everything, is tracked and stored electronically as it should be. We interface with all systems such as RFID, barcode scanners, 3D scanners, and flat files, just to name a few. Waste reduction, by utilizing quality gates and ensuring the product is corrected before it's too late, you reduce waste. Research has found an MES system pays for itself on traditional cost reduction measures between six to 24 months of going live. So these are just a few highlights of how our MITs will provide immediate benefits to you. So let's talk about our modules. Most MES solutions have modules, as do we. We have five modules that we offer within our MITs suite. 
Our MIPS system, you can use one, two, or a full deployment with all five. Each module provides various benefits. I'll talk about each module briefly and describe their functionality. Again, you may only need one module or a combination of modules or a full deployment. Our MIPS system is scalable to suit your needs. So production monitoring. Real-time role-based user dashboard. E each user can create their own view, which will be displayed by default when they log in. This may be a maintenance screen or a production overview screen or a hybrid. They're fully customizable. We use standard key performance indicators, KPIs, configurable to fit your needs. We provide all standard KPIs such as FTC, OEE, MTTR, MTBF, top 10 alarms, et cetera. If there's a different KPI that you need or a different equation for one of our standard KPIs, we will customize those for you. Production and downtime reporting. We provide automated subscription reports that can be sent out each hour, each shift, each day. It doesn't really matter, it's fully customizable. They're for your needs. We have ad hoc reports as well. This allows you to run your own reports, whether it's by machine, whether it's by shift, by day, by a date range, whatever it is, our ad hoc reports allow you to run a report without waiting. Our process and equipment alarm handling. We log all events such as faults, alarms, blocked, starved. These alarm reports will tell you what your heavy hitters are so you can focus on those items and increase your uptime. Live monitoring of your plant floor equipment. Live monitoring or visual management is crucial to your ability to respond quickly to issues. By having your plant floor monitored live, you immediately see alarm conditions, production issues, part locations, just to name a few. This is a sample production monitoring screen showing machine status, part in stations, live data, downtime, et cetera. This particular system is one that we emulated. You can see the AGVs at each station, the associated part number, as well as all of the pertinent data below, such as total downtime, a breakdown of the type of stoppages that have been incurred, good part counts, reject part counts, cycle times, et cetera. There is a lot of information just on one screen that helps you evaluate your plant floor. This is a fully customizable screen, and this particular screen is a graphical overview that has all of the information on one screen, which is crucial for the people that are monitoring the plant floor. Whether you're overseas, at home, or on the plant floor, you always have visibility with our mobile application. We have an enhanced our mobile application to fit on any mobile device. This mobile capability is huge for having access to your plant floor data while you're on the go, as well as access to multiple facilities. You may have 8, 10, 40 plants, and our mobile application allows you to see all of your plants at your fingertips. This is a plant monitoring screen actively running at one of our customers. This is presented on large overhead displays on the plant floor, as well as in their engineering office. This was customized for this particular customer. They provided us their requirements and we built this screen for them. This gives maintenance and production a live look at what's going on on their floor at all times. Whether you prefer a table view such as this or a detailed graphical representation, it doesn't matter. We customize these displays for you. This is an example of a subscription report. It summarizes accounts by shift as well as hourly on a graph. It also shows downtime and overall equipment effectiveness. These subscription reports are fully customizable are, and are essential in giving you the information you need when you need it. This is an example of our dashboard report that comes up when you log in. Again, it's fully customizable, however you want it to look by, by user this can be customized for that particular user. It reflects standard KPIs such as first time capability and overall equipment effectiveness, 
total downtime, quality stoppages per workstation, and hourly part counts for, for the previous 24 hours. This is a, a dashboard that was derived from that emulation screen that you saw earlier. Our next module, order management, one of the key modules in our software. Once we receive raw orders, we'll create an order list within MITS. We'll populate orders with bomb data. We'll validate bomb items per order and, and handle exceptions. We'll drive order information to automation, but we'll interface to the automation systems to deliver required operational and part information. We monitor order progress and generate callbacks. We handle unexpected order changes and scheduling changes. We provide work instructions, real-time work instructions displayed electronically to guide workers through the assembly process. We use quality gates and e-checklists to ensure conformance to quality initiatives and regulations. We also perform rework and reject part management. That is absolutely critical in production today. This is a sample of our video work instruction screen, whereas the work instructions are done in a video format. This is particularly useful when training new operators. If, uh, if you decide that uh, you're going to add a second shift or you have a change in workforce or you relocate your business, training operators on exactly what to do uh, using a video representation of that, at least in the beginning until they're trained, is huge. This is just a simple, simplified work instruction screen, whereas the work instructions are done in a text format only. It's short and concise and gets the point across to the operator when you're reading left to right and up to down, top to bottom, that is. It tells them everything that they need to do. And again, these are fully customizable as well. All of our work instructions can be tailored to suit your company. And if you already have work instructions in play, we can utilize those to build those into our system. This is our e-checklist. Each step requires an operator to check off that they completed each step. If they cannot complete the step, the incomplete symbol, the X, is used. We also utilize a manual entry or free entry, as we call it, FE, to further explain the situation by using the free entry. The operator can type in why the step could not be completed. It may also be used if the operator notices a recurring issue and this will let everyone see the problem so this does not persist. This e-checklist is perfect for all of your quality gates and ensures conformance to, that all of your work instructions are being adhered to. Our next module, error proofing or lean manufacturing tools. Polka yoke. We interface with most pick to light systems. Uh, we can do this with or without user verification. We do error checking, whether it's part fit verification, part information collection, or checking tolerances. We can set up error check windows that if the part exceeds those set points or that window, we can stop the line or send it to a repair station to be checked or fixed. And on interfaces and displays, we interface with most line side and on interfaces and and on board drivers. This can simply be monitored or we can perform the actual and on work within our MIT system. Electronic Kanban and part kitting solutions, as well as test equipment interfaces, we can marry the data from a myriad of different test devices to the product. This could be gauging stations with dongles, manually entered data on files, automatic testing equipment, etc. It's very critical that this data be married to your part or if you have several parts that you have to test each day that we provide all of that data to you. Our next module, genealogy and traceability. We interface with all types of systems to enable us to maintain traceability throughout the process. This could be RFID, SmartEye, fixed or manual barcode scanners, as well as flat file interfaces. Production workpiece tracking and tracing, tracing current, past, and planned workpieces, track exact work path for any workpiece, track 
all rework activities for any work piece. Supply chain data management will collect and store extended information for brought in parts and assemblies from different suppliers. Workpiece build history will collect and store all information regarding which parts have been fitted to which work order. And supply chain part batch recall and quality containment. We give you the ability to query historical records to determine work orders containing specific parts or assemblies that may need to be recalled or quarantined. This happens in a matter of seconds rather than going through all of your paperwork from 10 years ago. Electronic records of all activities and materials. All data collected during production is stored with the work order. The exact steps that the work order went through are available instantly. This data contains process variables, material codes, serial numbers, and batch data along with personnel and timestamp data. The information can be used to examine trends and final product attributes, attributes based on a specific set of build criteria. Lastly, our maintenance module. We can work with your own maintenance system or we can create a maintenance system for you. We create maintenance work orders, either freehand or linked to system events such as alarms. Maintenance orders can be auto generated by runtime or by production volume. Work orders can contain both the maintenance actions and the resources required. At the appropriate point in the workflow, individual work orders will be scheduled and issued to personnel. Maintenance workflow management, workflow management, automatic enforcement of disciplined workflow, including auditing, investigation, and authorization and scheduling. Automated collection of maintenance action data by collecting actions taken, time durations, and resources consumed. This is a valuable because it could change the maintenance item by reevaluating the actual process needed to perform this item. This is an example of a maintenance work order within our MIT system. We automatically assign work orders to maintenance personnel, comment on status, and close out maintenance tasks. This is huge in keeping your equipment up and running. Unscheduled downtime is a huge cost to your business, and this helps to alleviate that cost. Let's talk briefly about infrastructure requirements. Obviously, connectivity is critical to gathering data. First, we need to establish a server for our software as well as required third party software such as our OPC software that allows us to talk to many different PLCs at the same time. The server can be actual on prem hardware or it can be virtualized. Next, manual production stations. To utilize electronic work instructions and e-checklist, we need to have local at each station thin clients and monitors. The thin clients need to be connected via Ethernet to our server, then we use dual monitors to connect to the thin clients. These monitors are used for the work instructions as well as the e-checklists. Machines with PLCs. Each PLC will need to be connected via Ethernet to our server. This allows us to extrapolate all the possible data from your equipment, such as faults, alarms, part counts, cycle times, et cetera, and machines without PLCs. We work with ethernet devices that can be applied to your equipment for monitoring of amperage, vibration, air pressure, et cetera. These are ethernet IO devices that can connect directly to our database. We can also use relays and a PLC data concentrator to gather that a machine is running or piggyback off of fault lights, et cetera, to give you visibility of that older equipment. A little bit of experience. Our MITS is deployed across the globe in large automotive suppliers, as well as tier one, two, and three suppliers. We have systems still in production since 2001. Whether you are manufacturing a paperclip or a luxury automobile, our proven solution can work for you. Thank you very much for being here today. We appreciate your attendance. If there are questions we didn't get to and or you would like more information, please contact us right away.